If you plan to arrive in Zagreb by train, one of the first things you'll see when you step outside of Central train station is this square. It looks more like a park, but it is considered to be a square. And it is named after this guy, the first Croatian king, King Tomislav. He was the first guy that united all different Croatian parts into one country. And he also successfully defended Croatia against Hungarian attacks. Behind this park or square, there are two more similar sized parks and all three of them connect Central train station with the city center. museums are not on my list, but Zagreb has more museums per capita than any other city on the entire world. And they also have quirky, different and interesting museums. And this is one of them. It's devoted to breakups. Exhibits have been donated by people from all over the world. I just came out of the Museum of Broken Relationships. This place has so many fascinating stories and different objects. There was this old beat up cell phone and next to it was a story. It took 300 days too long. He gave me his cell phone so I couldn't call him again. Usually I don't film cemeteries because it feels kind of disrespectful. But I think for this one it's okay. Because of its architecture and arcades and all the trees, it's designed more to be like City of Dead. And they say this is one of the most beautiful cemeteries in Europe. I don't go to cemeteries that often, but this one, this one is pretty cool. This is the main square in Zagreb. It is this big and beautiful pedestrian area. This is the soul and social heart of the city. Whenever something important is going on, it happens right here. And this is also the hub for all the tram lines that go around the city. Tram is the most important mean of transport in Zagreb. And almost all the lines go through this square. And you see that clock down there? 
that used to be the main meeting point in the city. Before everyone got their cell phones, if you wanted to meet with someone, you said, let's meet under that clock or under the statue. This is statue of Ban Jelacic, a national hero that gave name to this square. In 19th century, he successfully defeated Croatia against Hungarians. And this square is also the best starting point to go around the city. From here, you can get to almost all the sites within the walking distance. This is the belly of Zagreb. Every day, farmers from neighboring village bring their fresh vegetables on this market. Downstairs, under this one, you can find all sorts of meat and dairy products. And inside here, it's all about fish. This street used to be a creek full of watermills. And this creek also separated two towns that didn't like each other too much. On that side, it was capital, town reserved for the clergy, for the cathedral and the bishop. And on that side, it was town of Gradets, reserved for the artisans and tradesmen. In the late 19th century, they covered the creek and this street was created. At the time, it was advertised as the red light district. So if you needed the lady of the night, you found it here. A lot has changed since then. And today, this is a nice pedestrian street where you can sit down, enjoy coffee or a great meal. This are the only remaining gate from the old city wall that was surrounding the town of Gradec, one of the two old towns that are part of today's Zagreb. But besides being a historical city gate, this place also serves as an open-air chapel. According to the legend, at the beginning of 18th century, there was this huge fire, and this fire completely destroyed this gate and part of the city walls. But somehow, miraculously, one painting that was in this gate remained completely intact. It was the painting of Virgin Mary holding a baby Jesus. So when they rebuilt this gate, they enshrined this painting and this place became an open-air chapel. People are still coming here to pray, they light the candles, they put engraved plaques on the wall to say thank you to Virgin Mary. 
Whenever they pass this place, they stop and they pay respect. This is a very special place for the people of Zagreb. This is the tallest building in Croatia. It's a Roman Catholic church from 13th century. It got today's shape in 1901 when it was rebuilt after a major earthquake. Today, this is a cathedral and it is the most important church in Croatia. In 1990s, they started the latest restoration process that is still going on as you can see. And during this last restoration process, church also got three new chandeliers that are hanging inside. Now the funny thing is that these chandeliers were hanging in a casino in Las Vegas. The story goes that a wealthy Croatian businessman bought those chandeliers and donated them to this church. Viva! Now the church officials didn't like the idea from where those chandeliers are coming from and they just put it on to see how they look like. But those chandeliers are still hanging inside. This tower was built in 13th century to guard the southern gate of Gradec town wall, one of the two old towns that are part of today's Zagreb. It was named after the bell that's on the top that rang every evening before the town gate closed. Today you can climb on the top and get great views. This tower also holds one of Zagreb's landmarks, the Greek cannon. And this cannon gets fired every day at exactly noon. And although I was expecting the cannon to be fired, I got scared as you'll see in my footage. And the cannon has its own story. The story goes that in the time when Ottomans surrounded the Zagreb, the cannon was fired from this tower at exactly noon and the cannonball flew over the fields and straight into the Ottomans camp and landed right on the platter that was taken to Pasha himself. Pasha got so scared of the Zagreb's cannon snipers that he decided not to attack the city and the city was safe.
St. Mark's Square obviously got its name after the Church of St. Mark. And this is very important square in Zagreb. You see those flags down there? That is Croatian Parliament called Sabor. And you see those flags down there? That is the seat of Croatian government. This is one of the oldest buildings in Zagreb and one of its most important landmarks. This is Roman Catholic Church built in 13th century. It has this colorful tiled roof with two coats of arms. One is coat of arm of Zagreb and the other is coat of arm of Croatia, Slavonia and Dalmatia. And besides its colorful roof, it's also famous for its portal. Inside there are 15 statues from 14th century. There are statues of Saint Mark, of course, Virgin Mary, Jesus and 12 apostles. The church is not open for visitors, so if you will want to see the inside, you'll have to attend one of the Masses. Croatia has amazing Adriatic Sea, spectacular coast and many islands. No wonder its capital city gets a little bit forgotten because it's inland. But Zagreb offers so much interesting history and it's such a nice place to walk around. If you like this video, give us thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments or your experience about Zagreb, leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. This way you will help us create more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and see you next time.